All right, update time. I managed to pull the head off of the motor. The motor is still in the bike, but I managed to pull the head off. And then all I have to do is basically get all of these eight bolts and then these eight bolts over here. As you can see, spark plug wells. And in there is where the spark plugs are seized. There is where that one is seized with the tool that's stuck in there. And you can see the rust and stuff. I want to clean all that up. Basically, I'm trying to get that part off. So first, I'm going to do this. Then that. Then that. Then that. And then I'm going to go for the inner ones. I already got them loosened up, so... I'm pretty sure they're all different sizes, so definitely got to keep track of where they go. So that's two, and then the outer ones, and then the inner ones. Okay, update. It's like midnight, <laughs> but I finally got it. Boom. Just gotta get right in there. Got the second one. Anyways, and there's the one with the tool stuck in it. Oh my god, no way. <gasps> yes! Let's go! Alright, so I got the tool out. I got the spark plugs loosened up. So now I don't have to go any deeper into the engine. Thank fuck, because we were literally at the timing chain. And I don't know how to do all that. <laughs> now just digging in here to get a spark plug. These are probably 20 years old. <laughs> Couldn't make this shit up. <laughs> this is how I had to get the fourth spark plug. Got all the spark plugs out of there, so now it's just putting everything back together on the top end and everything else. So now it's just time to rebuild. Gonna vacuum a little bit down there just to get the little bits of the spark plug, but other than that, we're good to go. There is the new spark plugs, it's the NGK Iridiums. Those will be a lot nicer, obviously. Now back to rebuilding. Dude, I couldn't make this shit up. So you know how I finally got those spark plugs out of there earlier? Well, apparently the one broke just the part where it screws onto off of it. This part right here. It broke off of a different spark plug. I can't find it right now. But just that part broke off. And I was wondering why the new spark plug wasn't going in there. And I realized, because I shined the flashlight down there, and I took a video on my phone, and I zoomed in, and I seen something down there that shouldn't be there, which was this. So I had to buy this, like, well, technically it wasn't even that one. I had to buy this extractor set thing right here, which is like this tool. 
and I was finally able to get down there and get that out but now I got the spark plugs in there and it's time to build everything back up couldn't make that shit up all right so as you can see these are the spark plugs that are clearly pretty bad it was so bad the corrosion that on one of them the thread completely stripped off inside the thread of the head the miracle that that even came out in any case new spark plugs are in the head is pretty much back on there and back together so now we're moving on to the coolant pipes changing out any of the coolant pipes that look similar with the new ones and after that on to the next step the first pipe that I'm going to do is this one here which is this big one here it's going to be kind of a pain in the ass to get in there as you can see it's pretty annoying but we'll figure it out we got those ones no just gotta get that one Alright, update. Engine is back to being mounted. I cleaned it up a bit, as much as I could. Got the white hoses installed. I'm gonna switch this out. Well, I'm actually gonna paint it. And then I'm gonna switch the bolts out for not rusty ones. That's the white ones on the inside. I got three more coolant hoses to go. I know where one of them goes. I do not know where the other two go, so I gotta find that out. And now I just cleaned this thing out a little bit. As you can see, that's the color it's supposed to be. That titanium. And that's the color it is. But that's pretty much the best I could do with isoprope. I could keep going at it, but I really don't feel like it should function just fine. So what I'm doing now is gonna clean this up. Then throw the exhaust back on, then throw the other two coolant hoses on, and see where we go from there. Don't know why I was about to use dirty ass gloves. Oh wow. <laughs> Well, for a 25 year old coolant box, still pretty good. Sweet. 